Hey Ed here from Precision Gun Reviews and today we are once again looking at another car arms pistol. Today it's the CM9. This is another one of their polymer framed single stack striker fired 9mm pistols and it is an excellent little carry gun. It's about 15.9 ounces with one empty magazine. It's 4 inches tall. It's 5.42 inches long and uh, less than an inch thick. It's about 0.9 of an inch thick. This is part of Carr's budget line, the C series, meaning it has these less precise slide marks. It has a little bit less refined shaping to the slide, a little bit less machining going on there. It has a pinned-in polymer front sight as opposed to a dovetailed metal sight. And it has a conventionally rifled barrel. And it comes with only one instead of two six-round magazines. The barrel on this pistol is three inches long. And uh, we've got a stainless steel slide here. All the controls it has are this slide stop and this magazine release nothing on the other side. Magazines have no disconnect safety. They are six rounders. You can get an extended seven rounder as well. The, uh, the six round magazine hangs out a little bit. That's one of those minor fit and finish quibbles that one might have with these car pistols. They always have this sort of non-flush fit to their magazines. And the magazines also don't exactly eject with force. You know, they, they come out a little bit, but they're not shooting out like some other pistols. You know, you take a look at a Smith & Wesson MP shield, and that just shoots out. But not so with the cars. These break in over time. These, uh, the spring on the mag release will loosen up and these will fire out a little bit better over time but at first they kind of get hung up. The seven round magazine does a similar thing and it doesn't really match, doesn't mate with that frame either. All right. However, I do think this is a, a fine little carry gun and I'm going to tell you why. Let's look at a couple more things first. It's got these car standard bar dot sights, and I like those. This one in particular seemed to be a little off for elevation. Um, rather than lining the sight up so that the top of the front sight was even with the top of the rear sight, I had to raise the rear of the gun up a little bit and just sort of connect those dots so that I was pointing a little bit down from where I was originally. When I did that, everything was spot on. One thing that I always love about these car pistols is this trigger. It's got that, oops, look at that so you guys don't get scared that I'm going to shoot my table. Um, it's got this long, smooth trigger pull. And it's long, but it's not heavy. It's not super light, but it's just right in between there, but it's smooth. The reset is all the way out to there. Not something that reset snobs are going to appreciate, but this is one of the smoothest shooting trigger systems I've ever tried and I really do, really do like it. It's like a beautiful, beautiful, perfect pull all the way through. Nothing hanging up, there's no grit, there's no stuttering, it's all perfectly smooth, no wall, no nothing, it just, it just rides all the way back and breaks really nice it's like a finely tuned revolver trigger better than the revolver triggers that i know honestly i i'm a smith and wesson revolver owner and uh you know my smiths they'll pull back part of the way and sort of stage right after that cylinder is turned and then release the hammer this is an even better trigger than that it's just smooth all the way through and all the cars are and that really aids in accuracy because it minimizes the opportunity for user error. It minimizes your opportunity to screw things up for yourself by anticipating the shot. And I really like that. 
It doesn't make your shooting skills any better, but it makes any deficiencies you have in your shooting skills disappear. This has a very small grip. It's a two finger for sure. And it's got this rough stippling on the front and back, keeps it nicely attached to the palm of your hand and to your fingers. Um, it does have a short trigger reach. You get your hand really in there so I can I can pull almost on the front of the uh, trigger guard there. So those with extra large hands might not appreciate that. You might want to bolster that a little bit. But I, I must say it does, I do get my hand way up on there on this car CM9 and I like that. And that combined with a relatively low bore axis and some other things in the internals make for a really soft shooting small 9mm. For 16 ounces, I gotta tell you, this, this does not recoil like a 9mm that weighs 16 ounces. It really holds itself together with all of the different aspects of design that go into these cars. And I'll get a little bit into that in a minute. Um, this, uh, this slide release is a slide release. It's big, it's easy, it snaps that slide right home. I really like that one. They say in the manual, do not ride the slide home. And, and that's true, you never wanna ride the slide back. But despite the manual saying that, I have to tell you that it's, it's very, very viable to just slingshot the slide home to, um, to let it go back on its own force. It's a very strong recoil spring and it'll do its job. Um, as I said, the, the worst aspect of the controls of this weapon is this stinking mag release. Um, it'll lighten up over time, but at first it really doesn't want to spit those mags out. And the, uh, it seems the front of the mag kind of rubs up against the front of the mag well, causing a little bit more friction than is necessary. But again, that all works itself out over time. Um, let's take a look at the internals of this gun. We're gonna pull the trigger. We're gonna pull this back to right about there. Pop that out. Let this go. Nice and easy. And now we've got the gun disassembled. So we've got long slide rails. They are almost entirely polymer. Little tab of steel. You can see some polymer coming off. That's a, an aspect of cars that not a big fan of they, the plastic seems to get chewed up a little but long on this side as well so there's a lot of rail for it to ride on and then inside we have these other steel rails that align into this groove on the slide that hold everything really in place there uh, I gotta believe that aids in recoil um, it's got a semi dual captured recoil spring captured on the bottom, but the outside comes out. That's good for easy replacement. It's a metal guide rod. Then we've got this barrel, stainless steel barrel. This is traditionally rifled, and it has car's offset feed ramp. Very long feed ramp gets deep down in there into the frame of the gun. But being to the side, it lets that barrel sit low in the frame, get right down in there with, with the uh, trigger mechanism able to slide in next to it. So that lets this sit deep in that frame and gets you that lower bore axis. So that's, that's a really good design. Um, as you can see, there's really not much going on inside here. You're, you're pulling the trigger, it's on one spring, it's got one transfer bar here, and it operates the sear release and the striker block safety at the same time. And that's the whole mechanism. So super simple. People talk about Glocks being very simple firearms. Uh, I don't think there's anything more simple than the car, and it works really well. Inside the slide, not much going on, just exactly as you'd expect. Striker, striker block, extractor, it's external. This acts as a, a chamber, loaded chamber indicator. If we're looking at the slide itself, it's got good I guess n nothing to write home about in the serrations, but it gets you good purchase. These roll marks, very, very crude, but that's what keeps it a budget weapon, which uh, I don't really care. I mean, this is not a fashion show. And if it were, I wouldn't be doing it, I'll tell you that. Um, nice opened up 
the ejection port gives you a nice uh, cut out there get those rounds out I've never had any problems with my cars they all feed and eject wonderfully um, we've got drift adjustable rear sight and a pinned in polymer front so you want to step up to the P series you're gonna spend more money but you're gonna get some of those perks nicer slide nicer markings on here you're gonna get that adjustable front sight you're gonna get that polygonal barrel and I don't know for sure but I would hope that perhaps the polymer lower on the P series is a little bit more refined than this uh, chewed up sort of C series but that aside I mean it always works and and that's really where it, what it comes down to the reliability is excellent on these cars I've, I've had a bunch of these come in and out here at PGR and I've really never had so much as a hiccup um, the only thing that I did have to be 100% transparent is with one of the magazines for the smallest 380 they make rounds were nose diving a little bit and um, all I did was pull out that spring and stretch it out and I never had a problem again and car sent me two new magazines just to take care of that issue as for accuracy this gun is very accurate for the size you know it's got a 5.4 inch length so that's a pretty short sight radius the sights are good despite not being the standard three dot I like this bar dot setup um, it gives you a long barrel for the overall size this barrel is a three inch barrel and that's that's uh, about the same size as the shield which is a half inch longer it's about the same size as the PPS it's a half inch longer gun they really they maximize this distance and I like that so overall for an MSRP of about four hundred and sixty dollars I've got to say I really do like the car CM9 I think it's an excellent go-to small single stack striker fired polymer framed nine millimeter it may be my top choice for that type of handgun um, really fits well in the hand it's comfortable it shoots well recoils easy and it's super light to carry all day super thin just a really optimized weapon you know this is my hammer um, this is the tool that I want that suits the role that I want to use it in this is an ideal carry gun it checks all the boxes unless you hate the trigger in which case can't help you anyway that's the car CM9 I'm Ed from Precision Gun Reviews. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to get everything as it comes out. Until next time, stay safe.